Hi everybody. For today's episode of Lost in the Woods, I thought we'd go get lost in the woods. So, here we go. These are some different woods with uh, different trees. It's deer season right now. I sure hope I don't get shot. I don't think so. Who would hunt in this? But today, I thought we could talk about conspiracy theories. I love conspiracy theories. So, I did a little research for today's video and I found out that 3% or no, excuse me, I found out that the three wealthiest people in the United States own 50% of all the wealth in the United States. And I found out that the eight wealthiest people in the world own 50% of the wealth in the world. How long do you think it's been that way? Last 20 years or so? Where just a few people have all the wealth, most of the wealth, or at least a very sizable portion of the wealth? 50 years? 100 years? 500 years? 1,000 years? How about for as long as there has been wealth? And the question you have to ask yourself is, those people with all that wealth, do you really think they don't have a plan? See, with wealth comes power. And power only does two things. It tries to get more powerful. And it tries to preserve itself. So. Well, hey, wait a minute. Man, is that... You know, I've heard about these. You guys seeing this? Yeah, I've heard about these before. I didn't know. I kind of thought it was made up. Check this out. Right up here. Yep, there it is. Oh. Look, There's a bush light tree. Oh man, perfect. This is really gonna hit the spot after that pickled egg I had with my lunch. You know, it's a good idea to always keep your beer cozy on you at all times for when such occasions arise. Oy. Note to self, kids, put, eh, put beer cozy on, then open beer. So, where were we? Yeah, planning. You really think that CEO that struggled and worked and fought and schemed and backstabbed his way to the top of whatever country company he's running? You think he's just going to say, well, I made it. I'm going to kick up my heels because I'm done. I'm in charge now. Nothing else to do. No, those kind of people... They don't work that way. So, when you get into conspiracy theories, you're really just wondering about what those people in charge, what are they up to? What is their plan? Try to figure out what it is. 
and you'll you'll find some things. Some conspiracy theories are silly. Those are the ones that probably aren't true. Generally speaking, the more entertaining a conspiracy theory is, the less likely it is to be true. Not always the case. That's a good rule of thumb. Oh, I like this thick stuff. Yeah, let's go in there. Well, maybe not. Uh, for example, the uh, theory that the Republicans are behind global warming because they want sea levels to rise and flood out the coastal towns, which are predominantly Democrat. That's pretty funny. Probably not true. Or the theory that uh, Donald Trump is a time traveler. That one's really entertaining. Uh, theory goes that uh, when Nikolai Tesla died, the government needed somebody to go through all his papers. And who went through them but was none other than Donald Trump's uncle, John Trump. Who uh, found plans for a time machine. Now what's interesting about that theory is that it is corroborated by a book by a guy, written by a guy that lived in Nikolai Tesla's time. And it was about a guy named, or about a Baron Trump that went to Russia and uh, there was also, I think the book was called The Last President, even. I'm not sure about that, but there was supposedly an election and riots on Madison Avenue. So, that conspiracy theory, oh, it's entertaining. Probably not true, because let's not forget, uh, time travel's not possible. Well, in that kind of sense. We are all traveling through time at the rate of one second per second. So in that sense, time travel, you can't stop it. You, you're going to travel through time whether you like it or not. Well, you know what I mean. Some conspiracy theories, I think, are just meant to trick you. If you spend any time looking into conspiracy theories, you're going to hear about David Icke. And he talks about shape-shifting lizard people. Now, I don't think shape-shifting lizard people are a real thing. But I have met some shifty people. And I have met some cold-hearted, or you might say cold-blooded people. Which is what lizards are. So, in a sense, I have met some shape-shifting lizard people. You can find videos that go, oh my god, look at these, their eyes, they're lizard people. But that's not the point. The point is, it doesn't really matter if they're shape-shifting lizard people. Or if they're just shifty people that are cold-blooded, heartless uh, people in power. That doesn't matter what they are, it's what they do. But then, see, they can throw you off the trail. Yeah, see, there's no shape-shifting lizard people. You're just a crazy conspiracy theorist. We're not out to enslave mankind or anything like that. Because we're not shape-shifting lizard people like you think we are. So, don't fall for that. But if you do uh, study conspiracy theories long enough, too, you'll find out that there's some really awful stuff... That ain't all theory. Uh, this history of the Federal Reserve, I mean, that was a conspiracy that was enacted. And that's totally bad news for the citizens of this country. Our money used to be worth a lot more than it is now. You can thank the Federal Reserve for that. Some other conspiracy theories that are true. Uh, Operation Mockingbird, totally declassified. 
our CIA admitted it in public that they have operative operatives uh, disseminating fake news in other countries and uh, President Obama signed a law that used to be illegal for our government to propagandize us. But Obama changed the law, so now it's totally legal for the government to propagandize us. Hey, that looks like a road over there. I don't think I'm lost anymore. It's the neat thing about the woods. You can only go so far in until you start to come out. Uh, MK Ultra totally declassified the CIA. Boy, that CIA is and cut their fingers in a lot of rotten stuff, don't they? Uh, the CIA uh, did all kinds of mind control experiments um, that they would never, ever, ever use on you. Um, so that was a lie. Um, they did all kinds of mind control experiments, seeing if what they could get people to do against their will. Manchurian candidate type of stuff. This has all been declassified, folks. This is no conspiracy theory. But uh, makes you wonder about these flat earth people that kind of discredit conspiracy theorists because they're conspiracy theorists. And those guys look like idiots. I met a flat earther one time. I had a lot of fun discussions with him until I realized he wasn't kidding. Uh, it's fun to try to prove the earth is flat or round, you know, as a thought experiment. Not so much fun to argue with a flat earther that's convinced the earth is flat. Well, that's fun for a while. But, uh, so yeah, then you get all those conspiracy theorists lumped in with the people that are just find, trying to find out what the heck's really going on. And then all this stuff gets discredited. So, well, which way are we going to go? Right. Well, I sure enjoy doing these videos. And uh, big shout out to my 14 subscribers. If you enjoy these videos and you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you did. And, uh, you know, if you know somebody that might like these videos, Share it. Pass it on. Leave me some comments. Tell me if you ever flown a bush light tree. Alright. Bye everybody.